So one of the biggest issue that I found uh, when you have uh, different platform devices which use different operating system or totally different ecosystem like this uh, Apple iPhone and the Android device, it is hard to uh, transfer the files like uh, messaging and uh, call logs and especially the WhatsApp data from different platforms. Recently, iPhone has launched to move to iOS app which we have discussed in the installation or setting up my 12 mini video which you can find it in the link so in this video i will be showing you how you can move all your messages whatsapp data from this iphone to an android that is running on a stock or any particular flavor this process is totally uh, uh, different and easier in one ui samsung devices where you can directly connect it and it will automatically show the pop-up but here the process is a bit uh, different. We'll try to do that. So here I have my iPhone which is running the latest one 16.2. So from here how I can do this. If you have uh, the Android device, it is uh, sorry. <laughs> if you have the One UI device, it is really easy that you can directly connect this both and uh, it will also automatically ask the pop up to do that. But here we don't have that. So, what you need to do is you just need a cable uh, which you will receive it with the iPhone, which is uh, Lightning to Type C. If you are using some older device or something, uh, you can use your uh, normal disk cable uh, which has the USB A to the uh, Lightning, and then you need a, a OTG cable which has the uh, type c and the ea connection so first i will connect this to so like this you need to connect and then here i can connect it with this device so all your data has to be uh, have, will be uh, uh, formatted so make sure you take all the backup of your device because this option will only show when you uh, restore your device and it will be uh, shown in the initial setup of the uh, device configuration so first what you have to do is you need to go to the settings system and then you will be having the reset option here you have the option to delete all your uh, record so which i am going to do now and then uh, my email id all my data will be restored so make sure you remember all your email id data before doing this and it will also ask for the pin which i can do it erase all data so in terms of Android, uh, iOS device, you no need to do uh, anything because uh, uh, the Android itself uh, now got smarter. It will automatically find what are all the things required in order to uh, do the uh, transfer. But make sure you use the uh, normal WhatsApp app instead of the uh, WhatsApp business. Uh, so that is uh, important to note here. Okay, so now my device is booting. So now my device is uh, restored, so sorry, uh, resetter. So I didn't have any SIM card, but that is fine. Uh, you, if you want, you can install the SIM card. Uh, make sure you connect to any network or Wi-Fi. If you don't have any network, make sure you insert the SIM and uh, turn on the data. So here I will be connecting to my uh, office uh, network, Studio One. So now I have connected to my network. So it may take some few minutes, so we'll wait. Okay, so here this is the important option that you need to do. Here it is asking copy Android apps and data. So you need to click next. So here use your old device. So yes, you need to select yes. And it is asking which cable. So you can use the uh, this uh, three different uh, option devices. So here I have already connected this one. So I will just uh, uh, use this one. Try another cable. If your old device is an iPhone, keep it unlocked. So I will just keep it unlocked. So you make sure that the device is always in unlocked mode so that uh, it won't this one. So here it is asking for an option, right? So this is really important. You need to trust this device and it will ask the password. This one continuously ask for the trusting this one. So make sure you always attentive when uh, transferring the data. So now I will click next. It will automatically lock. So keep it unlocked. So now it will uh, transfer all the data. Um, from uh, this to this one so i will try to connect uh, this one so now it will copy all the data so it will again ask for the password so make sure you provide the password correctly here it is saying that if you have a lot of data in your iphone it may take a while so uh, this uh, approximately uh, based on your uh, storage uh, whatever file you have uh, how many messages and 
uh, call logs it will uh, depends the speed in this time make sure the device is always unlocked so that is really really important so here for me it is ask, saying it is uh, three minutes uh, to fully transfer the data so we'll wait till that time so now all the things are copied here you can see apps contacts photos messages and calendar and notes ios notes even all the notes also you can uh, gather it here and device details like uh, wi-fi and other wallpaper things which will be synced automatically to your gmail account which is actually great um, the second thing is if you click this one apps you, here you can see all my uh, 34 application which are in app store which are also available in play store uh, will be installed and there, this is, here is the important thing which we are looking for uh, like uh, copying the whatsapp all my chat history and this one will be installed and uh, i will uh, proceed further uh, once we done with this uh, process so what i will do is uh, well simple just uh, click on ok and it will take five minutes so i will copy all the things so to transfer the whatsapp data here i have the option to uh, do this one scanning but if you are uh, if your camera is uh, having any issue or something you can easily uh, do it by going to the uh, settings and then the chat and then move to android here you have this option which you can uh, click to start and here you can see this one is uh, data is moving now so i will put the password so that it will allow right so i am backing up all my data in this one uh, to my device uh, google account and i am setting the password i don't want to set the password so i will get the remainder later so all my uh, this one is uh, started copying so make sure this both the devices is uh, keep turning on so once this is completed we will connect this back so now i have installed the whatsapp so if i open the whatsapp here it's asking language next continue hello so i need to uh, use the same mobile number uh, that you have used uh, in this uh, particular iphone so same i'm using but still the sim card is in this device only so whichever the message is coming i will just uh, use that messages uh, in the okay so that otp i have uh, entered here so continue allow you just allow all the permission so now here this is the really 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 important part so uh, you will need to restore this one and you, if you skip this now uh, you can't uh, uh, back up uh, restore it uh, uh, after some time or something you again need to restore the device or reset the device so this is important i will just click uh, start so it started importing all the data whichever is required okay Okay, now the import is complete. I can just simply click next. All my data came from that old device. Okay, so now uh, I can set the backup. I will set it as daily backup to the same uh, this one. So that now all my backup will be backed up to my uh, Google Drive, which I can use other Android devices. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And we have uh, successfully uh, gathered all our uh, contact uh, and sorry, all our uh, chat histories and uh, messages and contacts back. So this is how it has to be done. So thank you for watching. Quote Moto.